Hello everyone. Welcome to Fame World Educational Hub. Myself Ashwara Saxena and today in the series of Python programming, I am going to start with a new concept, new program. So in the last video we saw that how we can insert the values into the array. So right now I'm just going to create one more program and this program will be for searching. If you want to search some element in the array then what you can do. So here is my new file and uh, here I'm just giving the comment searching. So this program is for the searching. Here I'm just going to import the array module first of all. And then I'm just uh, taking here arr equals to array that is our array. And uh, yes if we want to insert the values from the user we can just take it like this as we have done it in the previous program also so if you have not watched the previous lectures just watch them so you will get the idea of the things which we have already discussed in those programs so in the videos which we have like I have already uploaded for you you can just go towards them so here I am just taking the range till n and uh, x equals to integer input and here I am just writing enter elements and uh, there I'm just going to take arr dot append x we will be appending now this is okay this we have already done in the previous program previous video and here for searching an element I'm taking that element as well so int input and here I'm writing enter the value to be searched so enter the value to be searched now I am just going to use the traditional way here I will be going to show you two different programs watch the video till the end there I will be telling that uh, what is the predefined function which we can use to search an element in the array right now I am going for the traditional way so I am just taking k equals to 0 for e in ARR so I am just taking the for loop to run throughout the array which we have taken if e equal equal to val that means the index whichever index position is going on we will be checking that with the val what is the val val is the element which we want to search basically so if it matches then it will be printing the value of k because what we want we want the index position so k is basically 0 right now and we will be incremented, incrementing it here so k equals to k plus 1 we are taking so it will be incrementing as soon as this loop will be working so what will happen like whatever would be the index position of k when we find the value whichever is we were searching so it will be printing that and the loop will break so this we are doing now I'm just going to run this program so enter the length of array Suppose I'm taking six elements now. I'm just taking some different elements here. Okay, so you can see this is our array. Now, if I want to search 89, which is present in the array, so when I will press enter, so it should return me two because this is the zeroth index, this is the first index, this is second, third, fourth, and fifth. So this will be second index. So you can see it's two, that means the answer is correct. So our program is working correctly there is no problem in the program uh, and your assignment your assignment for today is that you have to add here the else in this program so you will be adding the else where you will be printing that there is no element matched or uh, the element is not present in the array because suppose we are assigned, let me just run this program again suppose I have entered few values Suppose these are the values and I am searching for 45 but 45 is not present in the array so it should print that element is not present in the array so I am just telling you that what you have to do you have to take the else you have to take the else of this if and there you will be writing that element not present this is your assignment and as soon as you do this and run this just comment your answer comment your code or your amendments in the comment section so I will be checking it that you have done it correctly or not so this is your assignment for today now the another thing which i was about to discuss in this particular video was that what is that this like this was the traditional way as i told you but what is the way uh, where what we can 
used in this Python? What is the predefined way of searching some element in the array? So here I'm just taking the next program file and here I've just pasted it and this much would be the same. So we are inputting the array, we are printing the array. Then I have taken this val. In this val, what I have done, that's I'm just asking the user to enter the value to be searched. Then what we can do, I'm just printing arr.index. arr is our array.index and for the index, I'm just searching the val. So this val is basically the element which the user is searching. So it will be just checking the index position of this particular val in this particular array. So this is the smallest way and it is because of python code. So index is available here in any array or list we can use it. So I'm just going to run it and you will see that it is again working very properly. Okay, I have taken it wrong. The length of array I don't want 45. Uh, it will be really long. And then I'm just taking the number of elements to 6. So this is my array and suppose I am searching 99 so it's telling me that it is on the third index and that is correct because this is zeroth index then first index then second and then third is 99. So you can see our program is working very correctly with the help of this single line we have searched the element in the array. I hope this program was interesting this video was interesting stay tuned press the notification bell if you have subscribed the channel and if you are new to this channel don't forget to subscribe also like the videos comment your assignment in the comment section so i will be checking it see you in the next lecture